welcome my friends from Draper 2. I hope we can start a new lesson. I know we started this in class. We were working um, in Japanese art and we had two options. We were going to do a samurai or we were going to do a geisha. So my first video will be for a samurai, whoever decides to do this together. We will be starting with our basics. This is an example of our final drawing that we have. I will be using a pencil and an eraser. That's all that we will need. And a piece of paper and a blank piece of paper. So we are going to start. I will put this image in the color picture that I have if you want to color it. I will be putting it online so you guys can see it. So we're going to work this together. And to begin with, we start with a blank piece of paper. And if you remember when we were working on our dummies in class, we discussed about sizes. And the first thing that we talked about is when we did our dummy, remember we did our head, we drew our head. And I'm drawing it kind of loosely because, and very lightly because I'm going to be erasing this. This is just how I'm working my head. Let's see, that's my head. I got an oval, right? And then we talked about that the average human person, let's see, if I go with my fingers and I measure, oh, there you go, one, that's a two, three, four, five and six so my image should end about there so we work we talked about the tubular image we talk about the head and how we can draw a neck to support that head the other thing we talk about is our shoulders how they pass our head remember we did an oval how we passes our head it's not right here or our head will fall. Then we talk about how we have circles at the end of our shoulders to help us move our arms. And remember we talked about how big our arms go. Let me remember that. How many people draw the arms kind of small. And we have the chest going there about there I'm just drawing a very very remember that's about middle of your leg and that's where we keep drawing our dummy our basic or a dummy And we have that it comes into our knees and then and we are just not being precise about our dummy just position our body we work on this in class just before we left and we practice this a couple of times and this is kind of where we left it we talked about how we were kind of do it together and and dress our dummies in different ways depending which one you chose but that's kind of gave you a height of the person that way we didn't get too too long or too short that's kind of the average of our size of a person so we're gonna do this dummy very basic dummy and then we put in you know, our shoulders our elbows we just mark with circles because we know we can move them. They're very light. In order to start this, the first thing that we're gonna notice is that he's standing and his shoulder is just in a little bit of an angle. Not by much, but a little. This part recedes, gets a little smaller, and this one gets a little bigger because it's at the front. So that's gonna change our dummy a little bit. And we talk about it, we will be erasing quite a bit once we get our dummy done, just to get that shoulder going. And here we go. His shoulder is coming to the front and it's receding a bit, right? Not by much. Oh, hold on. 
get that case going. Just a little, and it's gonna start turning. If we start looking at our image here, we're gonna follow our image now that we have it. And we're gonna go. If we look at it, we have that here, out of the neck, it's kinda in, right? His chin is not as So we have a curvy line going up here. And we notice that he has the hat. So the hat is going a little bit above the eyes. So we're gonna have that going. Because we're gonna start drawing our hat that is gonna go into his head. And we're working on diagonal. And this is more of a curvy line than a straight line. I'm still finding my lines and I'm gonna delete the head inside my hat. Here we have the hat form. And then we can go, has like a ribbon and we can continue with the details later. I'm gonna make it a little taller so it looks nice. Kinda like we see it in there, we can go a little taller. Let's talk about here. We have the neck that it has to support that. The first thing that we notice is our, look at that. It comes out a little wider, the neck of that shirt. So I'm gonna go and there's two curvy lines on each side of the neck and they are making a curved line over here. We have a curvy line. We had that this is another curvy line here because it has more than one curve and it has another one that goes right there like a shirt underneath. This thing that we notice is this part of his shoulder is coming forward a bit. And we're dressing our dummy. I'm going over. And it's probably this curved line. It curves to go over the shoulder. Our shoulders, and how we have those round shoulders, the way we can move our shoulders. If they were not round, we wouldn't be able to move them. So we have this curvy line that goes down. And it's his shirt. And we know that his shirt is going to go. His hand starts right here, so we're going to have the shirt go there. And then we have that our shirt goes up. Right, and it's going to in that shoulder. It's gonna create that. I'm dressing my dummy. Look at my curvy line going in. Where the elbow bends a little, and it goes out. I'm following, kind of dressing where he's at. The next thing we're seeing on the other side is that this shoulder looks a little smaller because it's a little on the other side. And then let me erase this that way and we're gonna go that it goes and it's gonna curve down we don't see much of the curve of the shoulder like this side and guess what it's gonna go out and the same thing this one curves this curve right here and then we have another curve right at the end of that hand so we know that this shirt goes curvy is a curvy line and we have it there the next thing that we see we don't see much of this because we have this going we have the part on the chest going 
It looks like he's wearing like a it's like a one-sided jacket because it only goes on one side. So I'm gonna make this curved line come here, and it passes that part of the shoulder. So it's gonna end about there. And it's a double line, so if I'm following my first curve. And here I go. We don't get to see much of where it ends. Because the next thing that we see over here is if we look at his pants, and actually, it's probably going a little farther south to where that elbow is so I'm kind of getting it too high and we have that going right there little jack the next thing we see coming down is the pants, and the pants go, look at that, a little higher they should go, and then they curve in, so curve in and out, in and out, because fabric doesn't fall straight, so you're going to see that, and you're going to see that it goes, supposed to end here, my feet goes at the bottom. So I'm going to make a little bit of a curve and that is not quite a straight line because fabric doesn't fold that way. So I'm dressing him. The next thing I see over here is that this line, it's gonna go for about here on my pants, right? So just one curvy line down. And it curves. See, that's one leg of his pants. His body's still inside, so I'm gonna start deleting as I go the body, the little dummy's body inside. Because I know where his clothes is sitting now, and I am gonna keep going. The next thing that we have is the other part of the pants, you know, and it goes down. And the same thing we see that goes in it has a curve and then it's gonna go all the way down to where our pan is, pants are because our pants are kind of loose I imagine they needed a loose pants in order to if they were gonna be in the fighting because they were the samurais they need a flexibility so we're gonna see that our it doesn't I have it a little too straight and I'm just making curvy lines because fabric doesn't fall straight completely. So we're gonna have another set of pants that it curves and it has a little opening in the middle. So I'm gonna go probably to about there. And I have made his pants. I'm deleting the other leg now because I know that it's somewhere in there. I don't have to see it. I know this is where it's dressed, the man is dressed. The next thing we're starting to see before I go down here is this part over here. If you look at it, if we don't get to see the arm goes behind and then we have this curvy line over here that it signifies where his chest begins. And then we have this strap. This strap is holding this and probably at the same time is holding his arrows in the back. So you make it curve because her bodies are curved right here to show that it's strapped to something you got a curve and it's gonna curve a little sooner than the end of the pants and it's gonna go about there it's a curvy line that touches the other one the reason one is because he seems to have a belt in here so there we have man the part of here it looks like it has an extra color and I can go and make it over and that allows me I can make it over here the color and, and it could be under it's a curvy line 
it could be under the strap. In this case, it's not. But it could be. Then he has those little ropes, which is curvy line and ends, curvy line. And it has another one behind it that you don't get to see the whole thing. You just get to see part of it. Just do curvy lines and I'm leaving it in there. The next thing we're seeing on this is this arm or this sleeve for this shirt is forming as we talk. We just had to erase the inside and we see it. He's wearing some gloves, so we're gonna do is one curvy line down and it curves back in. Right, and we have the glove. It's one little tiny curve and it kind of goes down and it creates a curve. We have the first finger that we see, it goes down to a curve and it attaches. We're gonna see it's one curvy line and this kind of goes down and this is part of the glove and the finger. We don't get to see the whole thing of that. And here on the other side, we're seeing something different. We see it's a glove too, but we see a little bit more. He's holding something. How do we create the illusion of holding something? So we have this finger, obviously we're not gonna see it. It's one curvy line. And we kind of start right here on his fingers that they are grabbing. Right? And it doesn't have to go all the way in. And we have the next finger. And the next finger. And the next finger is probably your smallest. They're just little L backwards curve. Now we know he's holding something. Now, what he's holding is a pickle arrow. Of Arjun. For his arrow so we're gonna draw that remember that it has to pass here so we're gonna go and start in a little curvy line and we're gonna one big curvy line and it keeps curving and maybe I'm curving it too soon but it's supposed to be curvy and maybe I can make it just a little bit more curved. So we're gonna have, and it's curving, and it curves a little curve in the end, and this one is gonna follow the same first one, but it's also gonna have to go through that hand, right? Because he's holding it. Make sure if I made extra lines inside, I'm deleting it. And then this has this has a little bow that it goes from here to about there. I made a double line, I keep deleting. So it looks pretty good. The next thing that we're gonna go work us on that belt on those pants because he's holding a knife too. So the first thing that we're gonna tackle is that belt right here. We know it goes over his pants. And then we know that it has some kind of tie. The tie, we're gonna do it with one curvy line, two, and we're gonna double that in lines and in the middle. That tells me that that, and if you pull two, which is not in the drawing, it could be like you tied something in there. The next thing that we have is as the belt keeps going in a curved line. And I can start deleting what I see because things that are in front blocks the stuff in the back. Then it has something connected to the belt that holds that circular. So 
so it's a circle trying to make next make my circle a smaller circle and you can keep trying more than once until you get it right you keep curving it until you get it right there deleting extra lines and this one is a double something that's in there holding it the next thing we have is that dagger and it starts about here so i probably have to delete a little bit part of it and it starts with the circle the same thing it's like one curvy line going down and it's gonna cross it's gonna go down and you can even have it going it curves and the other curvy line does the same thing same as kind of one created the arch but this is not an arch this is a case for a big old knife that they use for fighting so i have it there what else I see? I see a handle. This handle is created by having a circle here and deleting the inside part of the circle. It creates that handle. And I'm deleting that part of the pants so I can tell that it's in front. So there's a knife finished the belt up here and it has some other belts or something else tied to him and it's marked by two lines here because he has something holding in the back and it seems like it is attached so he doesn't have to carry with his hands so that's what I'm creating now another line curvy line here and it has two strapped holes in that and we have an extra belt. The next thing we're gonna add to my drone is this back. Looks like it could be a mat, it could be something that he's carrying behind it. So they're little, I'm making little ovals or little circles and I'm putting a line to it. Build another one next to it. Oh, there is the glove so I'm jumping it. I'm trying to make sure I don't go inside with the pants. And I don't get to see much of those circles as they keep getting. So it just creates something that goes in the back right there. Before I go to the top, I want to finish doing the feet. We had the end of our dummy ending here. Their shoes were not pretty fancy back then, not like we wear them today. So I'm just creating something that is holding that foot, which are curvy lines. And that marks where he ends, I mark where he ended. The next thing we have going in here, and I'm gonna delete because I have a lot of lines going in the middle and we're gonna try to draw that face it's supposed to be very simple so the first thing we're gonna do is we know we have that he's wearing a strap so that that strap is gonna cut on the face the way it's going it's gonna shrink it up a bit so then we have that we can see the mouth mouth is one curvy line one curvy line and curvy line towards the bottom not going too much details on the lip because it's so small. Two dots for a nose, two lines on the side, and two tiny lines on the top, just before the end of that hat. What I'm gonna do next is I gotta do those eyes. One curvy line up, one curvy line down. Trying to make them about the same size. Sometimes this is a little tricky. Curvy line up, 
having one curvy line down. I'm not trying to look for details. Just a little round circle inside the eyes. And that completes my face. If I want to put a little couple marks, pretending that is, is putting a little bit of pressure. Now, my guy seems pretty big and pretty good to me. We've got the hat going on here. We can add details as we go. Now that it's complete, I can add the kind of ribbon that it has on top if you want to. And then I can delete the rest. The other thing we have is he has these arrows in the back. And I'm gonna draw them. One straight line, angle line, and he has almost like a rectangle here. And that's one set of arrows. I'm gonna go to my other set of arrows, same thing. I'm using that as part of my second. That goes color, and there's my second arrow. And my third arrow, I don't get to see as wide, so I'm making it smaller, because it's farther back. And there we have it, my friends. The basics of my samurai guy, it's there. We can add details. You see that that jacket over here, it has patterns. You can do any designs you want. You can use a Sharpie from home or a black. Um, if you have just a black marker and you can trace it and you can add some designs like this one has, color some parts black, have some designs to it. If you have colors, you're welcome to color it at home. If not, we can color it when we get back to school. The other thing you can do is when you're done with this, make sure you put it inside your docket. That way we don't forget it when we get back to school. Thank you, my friends. If I went too fast, you can pause it as you've been going. You can rewind it as many times as you need to. And I believe that uh, it, you'll come, they'll turn out really well. Also, I am not drawing all of them. I'll be putting several. If you want to try more than one, you're welcome to. This is the one that we're drawing together. But um, like I promise there will be several of them to look if you want to try a different one. On They will be uploaded for you to take a look at. So it was good to see you, my friends. Keep up the good work. And I'll be glad when I can see you soon.